decision than that. We are also coming up on the one-year anniversary of Newtown, um, yeah. uh, Sandy Hook tragedy. Congress failed to act on any new gun laws, uh, including expanded background checks, which is something that you fought for. Right. And uh, I wonder what you say, what Congress says to the families of those 26 uh, children and staff who were killed at Sandy Hook Elementary, um, who have fought, frankly, so valiantly, who have come to Congress, who have yeah. lobbied in the hallways, and see nothing getting done. Yeah, you know, I've met with those families. and. Uh, it's unspeakable what they've been through. It's amazing the courage that they have demonstrated. Um, and frankly, I think many of them have been very, very reasonable about what they've asked for. Background checks, to me, is not a violation of anybody's Second Amendment. And supported by 90% of the American people in polls. Uh, that, that could well be. And, and I just think it's common sense. I'm a big believer in the Second Amendment. Personally, I'm a gun owner. I, I think the Second Amendment's important. But having a background check to make it harder for criminals who have no right to a firearm, the people who are dangerously mentally ill, to try to make it a little harder for those people to get firearms, that, that just makes sense. So will you